Welcome back to Restore Thrive. We are talking about lunge progressions. If you are an athlete of any stripe, it's important that your body has movement choices, meaning that you don't always have to be in the most ideal position to express your athleticism. So what we're going to go through today is what we call our lunge with swinging gait progressions. Well, let's get it into it here. So what we're gonna start with is a good athletic base. I want your feet outside of hip width, toes pointed forward, butt squeezed, abs on, arms by your side. We don't need any arm tension right now to execute a lower body exercise. So we're gonna take a step forward on that train track that we established at our setup. I'm gonna make sure my knee is over my ankle or slightly forward, my weight's 50-50, my back foot, my heel is up, all five of my toes are on the ground, my upper body's nice and tall. I'm gonna prioritize keeping good tall posture and position, knee over my front foot. As I start to open up my back hip, this is what we call hip external rotation. You can see I'm letting that back leg open while keeping that front knee in this exact same position and keeping my trunk pointed straight ahead. Once I get as far as I can there, I'm gonna to start to squeeze my butt, press through my toe and bring my hip in to internal rotation as far as I can. Once I get there, I'm going to step through with my front leg, reestablish my base, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna externally rotate on that back hip, keep my trunk pointed straight ahead, then I'm going to spin into internal rotation. That front knee still stays over my foot, and then back up. That's phase one. Hang with me. Phase two, we're going to introduce a little bit of upper body rotation as well. And we'll talk about why this is important in a minute. So I'm going to come into my lunge position again for rep three. And once I'm set up, I'm gonna bring my arms up into what we call a shoulder robber position. I'm pulling my shoulders and shoulder blades back, prioritizing that nice tall posture. When I start to rotate with my lower body, I'm gonna rotate my upper body as well. The challenge here is to not let that front knee come with your trunk. Keep that knee over your foot. Once you're here, you're going to bring that back leg back into internal rotation without letting your trunk come. A good cue to think about is press your knee out on the front, press your back shoulder back on the back. Create that connection between your opposite hip and shoulder. Then bring your trunk forward, come up into your next rep. I'll show you one more time. So again, shoulder robber, nice and tall, 50-50 weight. I'm opening up through my hip, letting my trunk come with me. Once I get back as far as I can, that hip starts to rotate back in, that trunk stays rotated back, then I come forward. The last piece here is adding a challenge to your vestibular system. So if you are playing your sport, you constantly have to survey the environment around you. We wanna make sure that your training and your preparation allows you the opportunity to challenge that piece of your athleticism as well. So again, our lunge position, we're layering on. Shoulder robber position. I'm gonna rotate my trunk and my trail leg, but now I'm gonna leave my head looking straight ahead. This is probably the biggest challenge for most people because we don't train our vestibular system. So I have a tendency to side bend my head and lose that stability when I start to rotate. So I'm keeping my head pointed forward, my trunk rotated back. I'm gonna close that hip down, bring that dish towel in my hip, and then I'm gonna come back forward into my next step. Again, fix your eyes on something in front of you. Work to keep that head as stable as you can as you rotate your trunk and your hip. Bring that hip back in, keep that shoulder back, then come through. So that is our lunge and swinging gait progression. And you can tell I'm warm now. It doesn't take a ton of reps. Two reps of each variation on each side is a great way to start. So give this one a try at home, guys. Plug this into your warm up after you've gotten hot and loose before your next competition or training session. Let us know what you think. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below or find us at RestoreThrive.com.